I'm pleased to be able to share this devotional with you today. And it's from 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. And it reads like this. Don't you know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit lives in you? Don't you know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? Now, this is Paul who is writing. He's writing to the church at Corinth, and he had been with them for a number of months and had shared with them a lot of things about the scripture. And he's reminding them that they are God's temple and that God's Holy Spirit dwells in them individually and as a church. Do you realize that today, it's a Monday or a Tuesday likely as you're uh, viewing this video that you are part of God's great temple here on this earth that shows off his glory, that shows off uh, who he is, and that uh, you represent the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And God's Holy Spirit dwells in you and in other brothers and sisters who have given their hearts and lives to Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord. Now it's a Monday or a Tuesday and maybe a Wednesday as you're seeing this and you might be thinking to yourself, church is uh, sort of far away from me as I'm about my daily activities of maybe getting the groceries, looking after the children, being at the office, uh, working outside, cleaning some leaves up off the ground as it's fall. But do you know that still the fact is today that you are part of God's great uh, presence on this earth and that his Holy Spirit lives in you. You're part of the team. You're part of God's great building on this earth. And as a result, brother and sister today, I encourage you to act appropriately as if you are representing the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So when you're out today and about and thinking uh, uh, maybe you uh, would you know, maybe misrepresent the truth at times if you're in a conversation with somebody, I encourage you, don't do that. Don't you know that you're part of God's temple and his spirit lives in you? Do the right thing. Tell the truth. Or maybe you're in a conversation uh, today where you want to fly off the handle and get upset or maybe even uh, get physically abusive, Uh, I encourage you, once again, you represent someone else. You represent the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I encourage you to be patient and kind, to do the right thing, because you represent somebody else. You know, we need to think of these things. Uh, We're not just our own uh, people and our own, do our own things. We sometimes we represent somebody else, and you know God has His fingerprints on you and me today, and He does for our church as the Central Schwenkfelder Church. That as people see us, that we would be a display of something bigger and greater and more important than ourselves. So I wish you the best as you walk about uh, today in uh, your world, and uh, I do uh, pray for you as I will pray for us all now that we might live holy lives representing our Father who is in heaven. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you've called us. We thank you that uh, your spirit lives in us. We pray now that as uh, we go about our daily tasks, that uh, you would help us to be holy, to think often of you, and to do the right thing. Empower us today, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. May God's blessing be with you.